Dr. Esther A. Futalan, Dr. Leah B. Apau, and Dr. Carteza M. Perico are preparing for the online and offline learning modalities through modular instruction. Appropriate learning materials and platforms were developed and tried out in sample schools which yielded potent feedbacks for adjustments in the actual implementation of Basic Education Learning Continuity Plan or known as the BELCP in all schools starting August 24, 2020. To supplement online and printed modular learning at homes for the regular classes, a value-oriented radio-based instruction dubbed as HIMPILAN, Harnessing Interconnection Management, providing informative learnings via audio networks. Sasugbu is utilized to carry out blended learning. It also targets alternative learning system and underserved learners who are deprived of learning opportunities. The ALS radio-based instruction program is an alternative learning delivery mode using radio broadcasts and other audio learning platforms to deliver the ALS accreditation and equivalency program. In a recent evaluation on ALS interventions done during the quarantine period, platforms such as ICT for ALS, FB Chat, Google Classroom, the Aral Muna application and Teped Commons emerge as the most common technological interventions used. Also popular are the use of radio-based intervention, partnerships with local radio stations to announce questions or lessons that can be replied to by phone. There are also the door-to-door -door delivery of worksheets, take-home learning activity sheets, and take-home portfolio completions. These modalities are being used and explored during the quarantine period and will serve as key learning points for implementation in the bigger education system. While the DepEd carries most of the burden for this challenge, the role of local government units is crucial. An alignment of resources and education goals within each community is needed to support the education ecosystem of students, teachers, and parents and assist the adjustment to the new normal, homeschooling, parent-as-teachers training, community internet centers, a citizen watch for education, establishing LGU leaders as education champions. While the future remains unknown, by working together to support and empower the education ecosystems in the communities, it can help establish the structures that the students will need to receive the quality education they deserve and bring stability in a time of uncertainty. Purpose of the Program the Radio-Based Instruction or RBI program is an alternative learning delivery mode using radio broadcasts to deliver the learning modules for the ALS program and radio drama, featuring short stories involving local legends, fables, fairy tales, folk tales, and other stories that are value-laden and supplemental learning episodes for literacy and numeracy skills for kindergarten to grade 3 learners. As a form of distance learning, it is able to expand access to education by bringing it to where the learners are. The specific objectives of the program are to enable ALS learners to acquire equivalency in basic education, provide kinder to grade 3 learners with supplemental learning materials through short stories promoting appreciation of culture and positive values and complementary learning episodes for the development of literacy and numeracy skills. Himpilan Sasugbo is anchored in Tepid Order No. 12, Series of 2020, Adoption of the Basic Education Learning Continuity Plan for School Year 2020-2021 in the light of the COVID-19 Public Health Emergency which provides for the principles of the BELCP and for the utilization of various distance learning modalities 
in lieu of the traditional face-to-face -face learning in the classrooms in the development of the streamlined K-12 curriculum, known as the Most Essential Learning Competencies or MELTS. Radio-based instruction is one of the learning options for offline learning modality stipulated in the BELCP of DepEd Cebu Province, the North Star. Himpilan sa kahanginan, tunghaan sa atong kabataan is a radio-based learning where us learners listen to the teacher's discussion of the different modules and kinder to grade 3 learners also avail of interactive radio drama of short stories and supplemental activities for the development of literacy and numeracy skills. The different audio learning platforms are the following. Local Community Radio Station ALS RBI lessons are aired on specific time slots for the learners to listen to from their radio sets at home or wherever they may be. RBI is transmitted through using canned RBI lessons. Canned lessons are those that are recorded. Kinder to Grade 3 short stories and supplemental learning resources for the enhancement of reading and numeracy skills are carried out through recorded audio clips of interactive conversations of characters in radio drama and teachers' instruction and modeling in promoting basic numeracy skills and stages of reading development. Makeshift Radio Station A public address system using audio equipment such as the microphone and loudspeakers or trompa is set up. Like in real radio station, the ALS implementer reads the RBI scripts while learners listen, either on-site or at a distance. Example, working in a farm or at home. In areas where electricity is not available, ALS implementers use a car battery or a generator to operate the radio station. Kindergarten to grade 3 short stories and supplemental learning resources for numeracy and literacy skills are recorded interactively, which will be played using the sound system in the Barangay and Puruk centers. Digital tools like desktop, laptop, tablet, cell phone. Audio lessons are sent through FB Messenger to be played during study period with the assistance of the home tutors if available. Audio equipment at home. Canned lessons and CD will be provided to respective homes of the learners, which they can play using available audio equipment at home. Regular schedule of broadcast will depend on the available time to be given by the partner radio station. Ideally, broadcast time should be three times a week, preferably from 11 to 11.30 in the morning and with repeat broadcast in the evening of the same days. Content Production ALS modules will be provided by the Division ALS EPS through the modules provided by the Central Office. Kinder to Grade 3 Short Stories and Supplemental Learning Resources for Numeracy and Literacy Skills will be developed by the members of the Organization of the Division School Paper Advisors and the Curriculum and Instruction Division. Initially, each district will produce two short story episodes from the Elementary and Secondary School Paper Advisors Organization. Deaf Ed Cebu Province has forged partnerships with some of the following local radio stations situated within the jurisdiction of Deaf Ed Cebu Province Division. These are the following. Radio Natin Balamban, represented by Sir Mifflin, the station manager. He pledged to commit support for the RBI of Deaf Ed Cebu Province specifically from 3rd District of Cebu. Radio Kalampusan of San Francisco Camotes through Mr. Gary Moana, the station manager who already expressed commitment to the project. Radio Kahinsog of CTU Barili already has existing alliance with the division specifically for the ALS RBI. The time slot is every 5 to 6 p.m. which will start on August 4, 2020. Mr. Fernando Mangubat, a station manager in a local radio station in Tuburan, 
conveyed his interest of giving RBI time for airing. A campus radio will soon rise at Pajan National High School in partnership with the United Christian Broadcasters Media Philippines Visayas in service of our students in the midst of this pandemic. The division office through the PSTSS and PWG members is still scouting for more radio station partners. Himpilan sa Subu will soon be making airwaves in partner radio stations in the barangays, Puruk centers, and respective homes of the learners. Kay sa Subu, bata ang sentro sa panerbisyo. Dasig Subu!